All right, last segment that I'm going to show you today is how to do your uh, uh, cotton balls saturated in petroleum jelly. Um, all you'll need is cotton balls. If you don't have that, dryer lint would work fine. Uh, pellet tin. Again, like I showed you, you could use that as a, a reflective mirror uh, for survival kit if you need. Uh, use petroleum jelly and then some type of knife or spoon or whatever to put it in inside the bag. So to do this, all I'll do is I'll take a few of these cotton balls like this, about oh, half a dozen, something like that. I'll put them inside the plastic bag, Ziploc. Use your heavier Ziploc bags, it works better. Then I'm going to take and get some petroleum jelly like this. Pretty good amount. Put it down inside there. I'll put the lid back on that. And as you guys are looking for, these are some great ideas for demo day. Just make sure when you're using the prod products that you properly cover up the label and those types of things. And then all you do here is you just take and knead those uh, cotton balls in that uh, petroleum jelly, Vaseline or whatever you want to call it. And just take and get that completely saturated. Uh, get those soaked up really quite well that way and um, sometimes you have to kind of move it around and milk that stuff in there um, and again these cotton balls will light with a striker with your battery and steel wool uh, with the waterproof matches or what have you and then what I'll do is I'll take these that are saturated I'll take and I'll fill up my pellet tin with uh, those saturated uh, um, cotton balls. Uh, obviously you're going to need a paper towel or a rag or what have you. And then I will take and put the lid on that, put it tight, and I have my uh, waterproof container with these cotton balls in there and we are ready for another method of fire starting. So again as you guys are looking for some ideas to do at home is a good fun family project. You can sure take any of these segments that I've given you and put them to good use and you can again go and make your homemade uh, survival kits and I'd recommend that you put one in every vehicle. Uh, have a couple set up for hiking and uh, our next video is going to be on the types of backpacks and uh, supplies that you'll take and some other suggestions with uh, as we uh, look for other survival equipment that you'll need when you go on a day hike or a hunting trip or whatever. So we'll look forward to seeing you again and have a great day. Thank you.